it is uh, Friday, January 15th. I finally got the date right. <laughs> Um, and that's because my kids are doing online school and part of my, of Poppy's stuff that she does every day is the calendar. So now I know what day it is. Uh, so I wanted to do this vlog kind of like a day in the life to, for basically for memories for me to remember what life was like during this pandemic when I had to, um, homeschool or do help with school online, um, with my two kids, with Poppy and Lux. So um, we are in week two of doing that. We just finished because um, it's Friday and so we know we have another week next week. But um, yeah, we're supposed to definitely have two weeks, but we're going to see if there's any more. And I think there will be. So I'm trying to stay positive, which has been hard this week because you kind of see the reality as you see the numbers climbing. And uh, yeah, the girls have had a tough time adjusting. I think everybody has had a tough time adjusting to online like kids kids are amazing and like very like versatile like they've done really well but it's such a different atmosphere so anyway I thought I would just take you through what it looks like so you saw how my day started and then um I'm recording this after what it looks like what school kind of looked like for us so I'm like kind of back and forth between the girls so you just have uh, you'll see that in a minute um so yeah so I have the girls set up they're at SK and JK um, in private, it's in a private school in Ontario, in public school here, that uh, age group is combined. So it's like four and five year olds is like a kindergarten. Um, so Poppy's in junior kindergarten and Lux is in senior kindergarten. And those are two different classes, um, which is nice because their class sizes are actually really small. They're both under 15 and uh, in real life. And then, so what happens with that age group, they're so young and they are doing Zoom but they have to have an adult like with them. So what happens now, Kit doesn't sleep in the morning anymore. When we did online school in March, he would go down at nine, it was perfect. And it was only Lex who had had classes. So I was like, okay, this is fine. And then now, Kit only sleeps in the afternoon. So now Wes takes Kit up to his office, which is right behind me, um, for an hour and a half and he just sits in like playpen jail um, while Wes works or like Wes took him for a walk today because they're doing errands. And then, um, and then I'm back and forth between the girls' rooms. It has, you have like 15 JKs and like 12 SKs all talking at the same time on Zoom. So now they have to be in kind of separate spaces. It was so loud in the kitchen. And I'm back and forth trying to catch, and I don't have them on the headphones because I need to kind of catch the gist of what their assignment is. Because sometimes because of like the internet and everyone's like devices, blah, blah, blah. Um, sometimes it lags and you can't catch everything. So I'm, I'm, I need to hear everything and I hear everything. You hear the parents who are co-working, <laughs> have this co-working space with their children. I'm thankful that I'm not like, I work part-time on like this and, and my blog and stuff, but I have very flexible hours and I'm not working as much obviously because of this. Um, but you hear parents right beside their kids trying to help out and like also on a business meeting. Um, and... <laughs> So it's been hard. It's been loud and we're just trying to figure it out and we we're figuring it out right now. Um, Poppy is currently doing the optional afternoon class and it's building a fort and and then they built a fort, got in their pajamas, got like popcorn and now they're having story time and I'm just like, ugh, I'm so happy with how excited she was about this because her sitting down in front of a screen is impossible. Like she doesn't she can't do it very well. Um, like focusing on stuff that uh, is on the screen, like she needs to do something. Lux has a little bit more independent and she gets the assignments and her teacher is really good at like commanding um, attention and her, for some reason that year, like she just, they just seem so much older and more independent though. Like at Poppy's, like to Poppy's classes credit, like there are a lot of kids who sit there really nicely but Poppy is just like having a tough time with it. So we'll see how well this goes moving forward. They have to do a whole morning of live classes. Um, and that's another thing. It's like if it was in the afternoon, it's a little easier because kids are asleep. But so we're just trying to figure out the schedule. We're just trying to get like Wes and I, because um, Wes is obviously not being able to work as much. I'm not working as much. Um, and so we're just trying to figure that out without burning out and just trying to stay healthy. So you saw that I went for a run. I haven't gone for a run in over a week because my hip has been hurting, 
but I've been up here every morning doing like um, some sort of workout, whether that's yoga or strength training, and that's really helping me with my stress levels. So I highly recommend just moving. They say like moving, drinking water, and that's what like I'm drinking coffee all the time, always. But um, moving has been helping me a lot. I do yoga with Adrian. Uh, I do it at 7.30, so I wake up with the kids. This is our schedule. I wake up with the kids, and that's anywhere between five and six, um, five and 6.30, and I make them breakfast at around seven, and then Wes wakes up and comes down at 7.30, and then I come up here for an hour, and I do some sort of exercise, like today I went for a run, and then at 8.30, Wes works for about a half an hour before school starts. So Wes works for half an hour, and I run around trying to clean and just get everything ready, all of their work, ready and uh and then i send kid up here at nine and he yeah he's up here and then we start school from nine till like almost 10 then they have like a 15 minute break and then they do another like 45 minutes of school and then we all just breathe and relax after other than that i wanted to show you just like new things that i had um New things that I just like got in. I made this co corner a little cozy. I moved my pink chair. You can see the corner of it. And just some other items that I wanted to show you. And then we have a date night with Wes tonight. So right now I will show you all the school footage in the busy morning that we have. Me cleaning the rooms too. Yeah, like I said, whew, so busy in the morning. But um, yeah, and then I will be back and I will show you lots more fun things and talk about Doan's Spring One launch. So your school. show you what I got from Doan along with some of the things that I'm eyeing and I might have I don't know if I have time to show you all my new stuff I got some shoes surprisingly all my new things are shoes <laughs> I never buy them um so I might show you those tomorrow and it's better lighting anyway because it is gloomy out but uh, you can see this is a playpen that kits in um that's Wes's desk he is a web developer so he has 500 screens if you can see them all there um so yeah let me show you the top i got from doan today all right so this is doan's spring one collection and i was kind of browsing at it when i had like five seconds during the school um time but um otherwise yeah i've been looking at it and then i got the aisle top which is very unassuming like it looks like just like a nice regular um wrap top but then phoebe dean tweeted about it and she works for them and it is a wrap top but then it like untucked it's like a little jacket and look at this right here see that that's a pocket <laughs> i was like what when i saw that and uh, and then when you see this up close though the print it looks like it has pink and like cream in it and I always saw the cream, but I wasn't sure it had pink in it. So I'm hoping that that color is right. I think there's a swatch at the end. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And look at this, how cute this is. And it has side slits in it. I just think that this is such a good, easy piece. And they they say it's good as a light jacket or a cover up. And I'm just like, I think that's I think that's gonna be a good one. So this is the swatch. Um, I don't really look good in brown but I'm willing to chance it because I think this is really bright. Like I think the white in it is gonna um, look good on me, hopefully. So we'll see. I just think this is so versatile. Like once you get past the first few pictures and like 
this is gorgeous in itself like obviously as a wrap top but it just seems like a very like classic piece and you know they always have their really special pieces and like this is really special but you don't really realize it until you're way into the listing so it's always worth going through like all the pictures nothing really is selling out immediately this whole um drop this is another one i like but i'm not sure about the side slip but i love it in black as like a summer dress i think with gold jewelry oh it's so beautiful so beautiful i love i love when they have like this lifestyle stuff so this bike here i'm like alex do not bike in that dress <laughs> so i love that one um what else the maya is absolutely beautiful i love how they style andrame with jeans did i show it somewhere they had it somewhere i think it was online they had jeans under it she maybe it was in a story it's not on here love the blue though but like yeah i love the cream but it's not really um practical for my lifestyle so i'll have to think about that one and then what else did i have here gilded dress which i thought this i think this white dress with the embroidery is really nice penelope is cute um now this is so beautiful there's a in this lighting it's really nice Oh, the Aries. This is on my list. I think this is so gorgeous. I love the black and the white. I don't usually like big contrast um, embroidery. Um, and what else did I have here? I love the Theta. And see the dresses. I thought the Theta was a really nice, easy dress. Yeah, in the in this color, the wheat. And I think that's it. So I have a pretty long list, but I'm gonna see. And like, there's not many um, pre-orders, which is really nice. So I'm gonna just, the Lyrica is pre-order, and I think that's really pretty, but I have so many nightgowns already. Yeah, I think that's it. So I have a big long list. Oh no, the Seville, oh my gosh, in this color, is one of my favorites. I think it's so beautiful. I have it in a floral, and I think this is amazing right there how gorgeous is that so beautiful so that's my list i don't have time to show you my new shoes i'll show you a sneak peek um and i'll show you tomorrow because Wes has to come back up to work i have these slipper burks which i really like they have shearling on the bottom and they're wool and then these flats i got for uh during the black friday sale for everlane and then i got my first pair of lock sandals from net a sale and it's they're so nice i've always liked this brand and the brand like the prices right now the sale is so good i think it's on its last legs but these were in full stock so i was really excited to get them so yeah i'll show you a try on of these um when i get time probably tomorrow good morning it is saturday and I'm upstairs. I have um, my own morning to usually work on work. Last week I just had like such a rough week. So it was like the first week of real school. And so I just like did yoga and went for a walk. <laughs> and then I, I like finished editing a video. So um, yeah, I, some, I try to do my videos on Saturday because that's the only time that is um, constant. So I have four hours, but I always feel so rushed. It takes a long time to make a video. Um, so the past two weeks has been really nice to kind of just slow down and do other things. So right now I'm trying on my shoes with different outfits. I'm going through this really cool book that's called The Curated Closet. I think I'll have it linked below. Sorry, I have like major bad head. <laughs> it's a very lazy morning. And, um, uh, so I'm going through like this kind of style analysis and just trying to figure out my style and stuff and it's been really fun and eye-opening and etc so i'm just kind of trying out new styles um and new outfits together um this is my doan joan dress and this is more of a springtime look so i'm looking for more like springtime looks right now um and i'm trying on my shoes so i thought i would show you my shoes since i have them on and i can show you yeah everything i mean i think i'm gonna do a mask wes is gonna bring my breakfast up soon um and yeah, and then I'll just start editing this video and maybe do some other work, but we'll see. Um, yeah, let me show you what uh, I'm wearing and my new shoes. All right, this is the Doan Joan dress. I actually prefer it. Um, I don't really prefer it. 
tied up, but it looks better in this view <laughs> when I have a waist. Um, otherwise, it's one of my, it's probably one of my favorite dresses from Doen. Um, I'm just trying to figure out a slip to wear it in the, like, spring because I, I like how sheer it is because you can see, like, you know, how big, this is like a very big top. I like how sheer it is because you can see my shape, but then I don't want everyone to see my underwear. So that's like my only thing. So I need to find a slip, but it doesn't, it can't go beyond the slits on the side. And I, they always fall off my shoulder, like my shoulders, the straps of slips, and that's mainly why I hate them. And I feel like they're not big enough. So I maybe have to just like size up on them because I always feel like restricted when I sit down. Those are my slip problems. Anyway, these are the shoes I'm talking about. Um, these are the lock ones and LOQ. I think this is, this is what the brand looks like. And so I really like them. And then I follow Anna, the Anna edit on here. And she has a nude pair. And I just, I think they're such a nice style. So I'm just experimenting with how to wrap them. Um because it makes a big difference. And I think, I'll show you the other way of wrapping it, but this is the way I really like it when it's crossed from the front and that doesn't go over my heel. Because this sandal doesn't have anything to attach the heel to, which is fine, um, that's how it's made. But um, I just need, I so I, I don't really like the string around my heel because it feels like it's just slipping off and it's not comfortable. So I'll show you how um, how that looks. So the way on the right is how everyone wears them. So you'll see that it goes around the heel and it's really nice, um, but it just feels like my heel, like it's gonna slip off my heel. And so this way, I'm not sure if you can see the difference, how I tied them up, yeah. So this way it's off my heel anyway. And I like the line on my ankle. So I don't have the, I'm self-conscious about my ankles. I feel like they're not very thin. And so I feel like when um, you look at them from this way, that clearing it up and like having this like V is more flattering. It's my sandal story. Anyway, these, these are from the top down. I'm not gonna get too close because my toes are atrocious, January toes. Um, but I'll show them, I'll show you what they look like off, but they're on a great discount. So these sandals are normally three over $300. Which is insane to me because it's just such little fabric like i used to be a footwear designer and i just can't even imagine like it it, it can't cost that much it's, it's there's nothing there's nothing here so um but they're on sale now i'm not sure if they're still gonna be on sale for how long but for 66 dollars you like us so they're normally 300 and i think 30 us and they're on for 66 with the sales at netaporte and i will link link that below there was white and nude but the most of the sizes were gone in that and so i got the snake skin which i think is a little bit more durable let me look um let me show you what this looks like up close off my foot you can see it has a little bit of a heel and i like a little bit of a heel because i'm five three and i can't have too high of a heel but let me take them off and show you so this is what they look like off this is kind of the material so this is round um i'm not gonna say it's the most comfortable shoe in the world but it's not uncomfortable um, I think that's because this is round and it's like squishy-ish. So that's what that looks like. I love snakeskin because I think I used to have snakeskin flats and they go with everything. So that's what that looks like. And I think versus white in my lifestyle, this is going to last longer when it comes to an issue. But look at the top down. Oh, love them. I love the square square toe and the square heel. I think it's such a modern looking shoe. And I think this is gonna look good with my long dresses and jeans. Um, especially jeans, I think it'll look great. But yeah, those are them and then yeah, a great sale. And I'll show you my Everlane flats next. Oh, maybe I'll take one off for you. So these are the flats. These are the Everlane Ballet flats. And they're very much like the Loeffler Randall ones that I have that are pink. Um, and they're just lovely. So I have these in a size eight. Yeah, eight. And I have the day gloves, which are more comfortable than these, but my day gloves are um, a little bit more worn in. But this has this really cool thing that all ballet shoes actually have. And it's like a string that's 
can make everything tighter. So I'm between a seven and a half and an eight. I'm more closer to an eight after having this baby for some reason. I've heard people's feet grow, but I think that happened to me. And so I got this and it's just a little bit loose or I just feel like I need to I needed to tighten this. And I could, so I really like that option. But this does, this is round, so you can kind of feel it. So it will take some breaking in. I tied this side too tight and this side is perfect. So that obviously makes a difference. But um, yeah, I love Everlane shoes. They're such good quality. Um, this was on sale too during their Black Friday sale. And I was like, yes, I loved the shape of these so much. I like the slightly square toe once again. All of my, um, what's it called? Doen ones are like that too. I love the ballet shape. So yeah, this is what those ones look like on. They're just a nice basic flat. And my day gloves are like my favorite. I wear them all the time in the spring. Easy to go on, so I was really happy to grab these guys. I think that's it. Oh, my Birks. I'll show you my slipper Birks next. And these are my um, Birkenstocks that have shearling on the bottom and are wool. I love this style of sandal. I think it has become really popular last summer. Um, it's always been popular around here. Like this is very much my town's look <laughs> and wear um just like jeans and these or uh what is it in the summer in the winter blundstones blundstones and bergs are just completely my town's uniform so um yeah so i love these though um i was looking at the lauren manukian ones and they have this really beautiful texture and they're so expensive so i wanted something like that but at a cheaper price and I think I found them in this. Like, I really love the gray. You can see this texture of this wool. These are also cheaper. Those are around $100 USD. I got them, uh, where did I get them? I was they're hard to find right now. So I have them all linked below. And then, um, yeah, so you can see the wool here. And then the shearling is really soft. So like I was saying, it works really well because my feet sometimes get hot. So I wear my socks with these. Um, and my feet sometimes get hot with normal sandals. And these also came in a green, and I'm not sure if they're gonna re redo them this year. But yeah, I just really like them. They do stretch out just like leather, but they stretch out a little bit faster. I'm wearing a size 39, which is an eight for them, and they're perfect. There you are. I would love the green ones too, but the gray is lovely. Love the texture of them. And I'll link the Laura Minugian ones below just so you know what I'm talking about too. And that's it. I think that's all that's new. Um, yeah, we'll see how I'll continue the vlog. Oh, Wes is uh, texting me for breakfast, so I'm just gonna go grab that. All right, I have my breakfast there and my coffee. I'm just gonna enjoy that. My Wes put vitamins on my plate. He's so sweet. Um, I can try to get everything I need. So this is the corner that I think I mentioned yesterday that I kind of redid. Um, I'll have everything linked below I there's a chair that's really similar it has different legs but I just really love this space I got this new rug from Overstock and I think it's so pretty it's like this flat weave so it's really nice because we have this door right here that's really low so it's nice in this kind of area and it makes the the whole corner feel a little bit cozier and hopefully it helps with the sound of my videos because they can sound so echoey in this space but yeah so i'll link that below i'm gonna watch my new obsession which is like vogue's uh paris vogue's um, um style i just adore it and then this is the book i was telling you about the curated closet by anushka reese i think it just takes you through a lot of steps to help analyze your closet and it's not like it won't take like a day so it's really good um, time to do that too because it's January and we're not really buying too many new things I think in January um, but yeah that's the Suzanne pillow and that's it and a vintage table and I think I talked about my art before I'll have everything linked again below but that's it right, I'm going to just enjoy my morning I'm doing that and then just like a slow work day <laughs> alone I'm such an introvert a, such an introvert that like this whole pandemic has been like okay like I miss everybody obviously but like um having like really slow days and being at home is completely fine by me 
so yeah i'm going to just enjoy myself and i'll end the vlog here and i'll say have a good day i hope you like this and i'll see you next time